Police were able to disable that deadly booby trap and get inside James Holmes' apartment. ABC's Pierre Thomas has been on this from the start. He joins us again from Washington. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, George. Today, police sources are describing James Holmes as a mad scientist, a calculating killer who transformed his home into a bomb factory, a death trap. Just inside the accused killer's 800-square-foot apartment was a wire running about waist-high, placed there to set off a bomb, a diabolical, potentially deadly surprise for whoever crossed it. This apartment was designed to kill whoever entered it. The improvised explosive device near the door was composed of two liquids, which if combined, investigators believe, would have ignited. It was certainly a sophisticated device. The living room floor was also covered with 30 potential bombs, each connected to a control panel in the kitchen with a spaghetti-like jumble of wires. The plan to set off a chain reaction of explosions, unleashing fire and carnage, potentially enough to blow up his apartment. It was an extremely dangerous environment. There was also scores of bullets and accelerants, including 10 gallons of gasoline. Look at the fireball created when police disposed of it. And before police set foot in the apartment, the bombs had to be disarmed. That's police setting off a small explosion to make it safe to enter. Inside a potential break that could answer the question of why. Authorities recovered a computer, and sources tell us more evidence of his Batman obsession. A variety of Batman paraphernalia, including a poster and a mask from the comic book series. Local police, the FBI, and ATF hope the computer will give them the break they've been looking for, insight into why Holmes went to the dark side.